Okay. It's okay, Toby. Go back to this elk here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up his nose. I've got the nose tucked in. And uh, I did some detail work on the... I had to move things here. I had to get over on a wall. What I'm doing is just a little detail work. I've got the nose set the way I want it. Make sure my pins are right. What I'm going to do, and what I do for my deer and everything, is to hold this stuff in place. I go ahead and I stuff some some paper towels in there. And what that does, it absorbs the moisture and helps hold this stuff in place. Because I want these wrinkles around his nose to stay in place. And I want that stuff to, to go in and and just be real nice looking in there and when we finish this nose up it'll look real good and here's this one here I'm gonna go ahead and just start stuffing that stuff full just so it holds that nose in place I want that nose to stay there kids come in and go what do you got that in there for oh they got a cold tell them but anyway that's what I do is get that in there and that that absorbs the moisture helps that dry out and uh, I got everything set here uh, let me move up to the ears here uh, there we go we got the ears right here you can see Ears are going to be kind of back like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sharp wire and stick it in through there. And that will help me hold that ear in place while it dries. I'll show you what I'm doing here now. You get that in about the right position. And you just go right on through the ear canal. And you go right down into that form. There you go. I can hear it now. And what I can do is I can form that base right there. Get a look at your reference. You got muscles that come over the top here and underneath. And what we want to do is, and they come right down through here. What we do is we press that into there. And just form that along this base of the skull there. Put a little groove right there. Just feel that right in there and do the bottom get it up along there and then you got your ears pretty well set you can take and move them around a little bit however you want take a look at some reference photos and you'll be able to see that and what we'll do is we'll put these pinch these ears back a little bit and I'll look I think that's going to do that right there and uh, that'll make a Make a nice looking mount. Nice looking. Anyway, I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, get a piece of sharp wire. I know this has been a long, tedious process, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not too bad, I guess. It's, what we're going to do is we're going to get this one in here about the same way. Just turn it a little bit like so. And what we're going to do is put it right down through that ear canal. Let's see if I can find her here first. Stick my finger in there and see which way she's going. There we go. You can always bend this wire to fit some something. What I do is just go ahead and make sure you pinch that around the bottom. Get that clay form. And come back tomorrow and do the same thing. See if that's what you like. Here's the here's the begin the ear, the inside of the ear. You can press that ear into that. Just whoa! Now see that's that's something you don't want to happen to you. Let me. I was pressing too hard. I'll be back with you.